are now entering the most delicate phase of the operation. It was at this point in the procedure that Dr. Lorenzo Gilbert at Princeton made what became known in scientific circles as the Gilbert blunder. Science never sleeps, Albert. I suppose that's why I feel I have so much catching up to do each morning. It looks like it's going to work. This is a crucial moment. Looks all right. Smell is good. Not bad, maybe a little fruit. You know, Albert, some have said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What do you think of that? I wouldn't know. Right. Okay. Tell me what you do know. Schedule for today. 10 a.m. Physics 101 lecture. Do you have a subject in mind? Oh, boy, no. Uh, give me my options, huh? No, I died with that last year. What else we got? Anything exciting? Got anything that's uh, exciting but still legal? Yeah, thermal mass. They'll like that. We'll go with that. You'll kill them. One o'clock p.m. Ellen Whitley's poetry reading. 11 a.m., meet with Hotchkiss on Quantum Seminar. Don't forget, he owes you 10 bucks. 2 o'clock p.m., ion beam accelerator meeting. 1 o'clock p.m., Ellen Whitley's poetry reading. Hey, Albert, quit nagging. Quit programming. Listen, Albert. Something I want you to work on this morning. Found these papers up in the attic. I think they belong to the professor who lived in this house before me. He was in the physics department, too. This could be pretty interesting. Good morning, professor. Your lunch. Bring that back empty. Lunch is the most important meal of the day. Oh, Mrs. Nakamura, you do pack a fine lunch, really. But I thought we agreed nothing with eyes. Oh, and don't forget Ellen Whitley's poetry reading today. The flowers are in the refrigerator. How can I forget? It's her first book. I remember my first book. Gravity. Who needs it? Of course, I've recanted that entire theory. Uh, Mrs. Nakamura, maybe you can do a little favor for me. Well, possibly. I need to feed these papers into Albert, just like this. It's very simple. That's what you said when you asked me to unplug that big rubber thing. Oh, that was an accident. Could have happened to anybody. You don't have to be afraid of Albert. He's just a machine. Look, he's user-friendly. <laughs> Morning, Professor. Morning. Hi. Oh, Tommy, you owe me that paper. Yeah, right. Dean Jones, Dean Ross, Dean Jagger. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Nice hair. Yeah, right. You know, doing that won't stop someone from stealing your bike, Henry. Maybe not, but if someone tries to ride this bike, he's going to get a change of personality. Good morning, Ellen. Walk it to your class? Well, yeah, only if you promise not to remind me about your poetry reading. See you later. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One reminder, I can deal with that. I'm sorry I'm such a pain about this, but it's important to me. It's my first book. I know, and I'm gonna buy the first copy. I'll, I'll get there early to hold your hand. In fact, why don't we get started on that now, huh? You've never been early for anything in your life. Okay, I admit I'm bad with time, but I'm surrounded by people who wear watches. You can't make it. You can't make it. I'll understand. Don't you trust me? I trust you to be dear and funny and sweet until there's an experiment or something rather going on with Albert. Oh, come on, Alan. Albert's a computer. He's not another woman. Another woman I could handle. 
Henry, sometimes I think you'd rather be with Albert than with me. I think I know why. What's that supposed to mean? I've got a counseling session with some of my remedials. I'll see you at the reading. I hope. Today, let's look at the very special properties of liquid nitrogen. Temperature, 77 Kelvin. That's 300 below to you and me. Now, I know you are saying, so what? Well, just look. We're talking thermodynamics here, folks. But wait, there's more. It's weenie time. You see, the, the whole science that gave us the steam engine and the automobile is all based on an understanding of heat. There's no heat content here, folks. To all intents and purposes, these nitrogen molecules just aren't moving at all. Whoa, look out. Great! Oh. <laughs> but remember, unless you have a half million dollar Fabian Rutherford helium refrigerator and a cryogenic doer, don't try this at home. Gus, what are you doing here? I thought tomorrow's your day. Well, I just wanted to get a head start. Oh, yeah? I bet it's your mom's bridge day, and you'd rather be here playing with Albert than sitting at home watching MTV, right? You got a game going with Albert? Well, actually, with Kim Shigeta. We're playing Caves and Warriors. Kim who? A friend of mine from Tokyo. Why Tokyo, anyway? Aren't there any kids in the neighborhood you can play with? Well, I don't get along too well with the guys around here. Well, Albert's too busy to play today. Why don't we go get some lunch, huh? Remember, never stare directly at the sandwich. You want ketchup? On um, grilled cheese? Well, some of us are risk takers. Some of us aren't. Come on, eat up while they're still hot enough to blister the roof of your mouth. I gotta get down to Ellen's poetry reading. A new book? Yeah, she's real proud of it. You know, Gus, something you said earlier kind of bothered me about how you don't get along with the other kids in the neighborhood. What's that all about? They think I'm a nerd. Well, I hope you're real proud of that. Hey, Gus, nerds are the guys that read books, try to make things better. They're the ones that know that tomorrow is, uh, is going to need some taking care of. You look behind any time-saving invention, any life-saving vaccine, and chances are you're going to find a nerd. Take me, for example, huh? People used to call me a nerd. Look at me now. I'm a nerd with equipment. Whoa. Oh, Albert's on to something. Listen, you finish your sandwich and get home, okay? I gotta button down Albert and then get to that poetry reading. I'll see you later. All right, see ya. All right. Inverse ratio of seven times okay, six. Okay, Albert. Oh, make that nine. Well, what have you got? This formula is very interesting. Yeah, well, put a button on it. I gotta get to Alan's poetry reading. Very, very interesting. Wait a minute. You said two varies. On Albert's scale of one through ten, this is a fifteen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe just a couple of megabytes, huh? Lay it on me. Sweets to the sweet. Thank 
you, Donald. It's good of you to quote Shakespeare. Well, that was Shakespeare? I thought it was Merlin Olson. Uh, Henry coming? Yes, he'll be here any minute. Oh, sure. What day? You're not being fair. Oh, you're absolutely right. And I want to be fair. He's a brilliant physicist. He's a credit to his department. He's just, um, shall we say, working on a different clock. He's up in the clouds. Now, me, on the other hand, I'm feet on the ground, hands in my pockets, and my nose is to the grindstone. Oh, you're a hard worker, all right. One lecture in the morning, you spend the rest of the day on the phone to your broker. Well, I have been fortunate with the stock market, but I'm in business administration. It's all research. Donald, I, I don't mean to be rude, but your investments are not uppermost on my mind right now. Oh, of course. Uh, the reading's got you a little nervous. I tell you what, I'll uh, count the house for you. You know, Henry's not being here makes my job just a little bit easier. Gentlemen, it's a strange formula, but we must push the envelope. Three hundred and fifty degrees for six seconds. Starting now. Five, four, three, two, one. No reaction received. Hmm. What did we forget? Albert, talk to me. Rechecking input. E. Check. Surface tension. Check. Explosion. Thank you. got something here, gentlemen. I don't know what it is. But we have definitely got it. Plasticity, porous, resilient. In appearance, it subscribes to the classical requirements of a metastable compound. Albert, look at this. This thing isn't bouncing lower. It's bouncing higher. This stuff is generating its own energy. This is amazing, man. This is a reusable, clean, self-generating form of energy. Look at this, Albert. Look at it. Amazing. This is unreal. This is incredible. This is 
where? What the heck am I talking about? Green, rubbery goop. What do I do with it? How do I control it? What do I keep it in? What do I call it? Lover. What? Line. Rubber. Flubber. It is in the data. Flubber. Flubber. That's not bad. That's got a certain poetic... Po poetic poetry. Oh, great third moon of Jupiter. I have missed Ellen's poetry reading. Albert, do me a favor. Don't go anywhere. Guess you're pretty ticked off, huh? No, Henry. I'm not ticked off. Not mad at all. Really? Really. Because you don't get mad when you surrender. And I'm surrendering. Giving up. Giving up on you. Giving up on us. Unconditional surrender. Close the door on your way out. No, Helen, you don't know what I'm into here. No, Henry, you don't know what you're into here. Look at this. What do you think? It's a ball, Henry. Yeah. You know what that means? It means you're a child. It means you're irresponsible. Henry, you missed the most important day of my career for a rubber ball. Oh, Ellen, I know how important today was to you, but believe me, this is not just a rubber ball. I never would have missed your reading for anything less than a, than a major change in the world as we know it. That's what you said about the water magnet. Ellen, this is the breakthrough that I've been hoping for. Imagine living in a world where, where we don't have to destroy the environment anymore with fossil fuels or, or, or worry about a nuclear meltdown. This can run your car. This can run your house. Do you know what that means? I think so. It means I never want to see you again. Henry, is that you? Being blind? Someone I want you to meet, Henry. When? Take the basket off, Henry. Oh, yeah. This is Mr. Oliphant, the West Dine Development Corporation. Henry Crawford is one of the leading lights of the physics department. Yes, I really enjoyed your monograph, Black Holes, Threat or Menace. Oh, I recanted that entire theory. Whatever. Mr. Oliphant is here to observe. I'm here to observe. See, the Westine Corporation is offering a very extensive research grant. And we're one of the candidates. Right now, it's between you and Russell State. Russell State? Russell State. Good people. Oh, but not as good as we have here. See, with a grant this size, it could revitalize the entire college and not just the physics department. So I... Henry. I want you to open your files and share your research with Mr. Oliphant without any reservation. The brilliant ones are always eccentric. Hey, Gus, hold on there. Hi, Curtis. Greg, how's it going? Poorly, man. Poorly. Yeah, you didn't come through for us, Gus. You forgot the money you owe us. I know you guys need money. We'll take cash or cash. Whichever's easiest on you. Okay, hey, okay, okay. Well, I don't have any money now, but I'll have some at the end of the week. I got a job. Job doing what? Well, I work for a professor at the college. He needs someone to clean up after him because he's always having boilovers and explosions and stuff. It's neat, and he's a good guy. He's using you. You're a cheap janitor. Cheap? You call two bucks an hour cheap? That's about 10 bucks a week, easy. Honest, cuz, uh, he's got lots of expensive computer stuff, which he is looking after. Okay, then, does this guy pay you every day, or does he... I don't sweat that. We'll take care of the money stuff later. 
Are you going to this professor's place now? Take off, man. You don't want to be late. What was that all about? Why'd you let him off the hook? He's not off the hook. The twerp says there's expensive stuff in this guy's place. If we can boost some of that stuff, we won't need any ten bucks from the kid or anyone else. Let's go find out where it is. All right, Albert. Propulsion seems proportionate to mass. The more flubber, the more height. All right. Let's see what happens here. really works. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've lifted stuff, we've floated. Is there a purpose I should know? Well, yeah. We've uh, got to prove to Ellen that flubber is not just another pretty experiment. Why? Incorrect data. File under human. Oh. That again. Yes, that again. Anyway, we've uh, we've lifted, we've floated, we've bounced like crazy. What do we do now? Fly. In what? Ford, Model T, circa 1910. Serial number 08835. Manufactured Dearborn, Michigan. It's all in the data. Old professor attempted to fly car. Thanks, Newton. Good choice. What did, it, what did it look like? Well, it looked like the car was somehow floating off the ground. Floating cars. You kids today. What imagination. We lose that as adults. It's a shame, really. But, but that's what it looks like. Uh, hey, Gus, listen. Why don't you take a couple of days off? Huh? You've been working awfully hard around here. But, Professor, you said I was your lab assistant. Well, sure you are. It's just that I, I'm not going to need you around here for a little while. Hey, something important's going on, isn't it? You don't want me in on it. No, no, it's not that, Gus. It's just that I'm working with unstable elements. You know, they wouldn't be safe for a kid your age. I guess they were right. Who? Nobody. Hey, Gus. Give me a call in a day or two, huh? You have a very impressive plant here, Dr. Blood. But I'm mainly interested in Professor Crawford. You mind if I have a little look around? Sure, it's what we're here for. I want to soak up some of Professor Crawford's atmosphere. He said he wouldn't mind. I'd like to be alone, Dr. Blunt. Oh, 
Well, sure. Bye. How's the big shot lab assistant? Out of a job. Told you so. Yeah, you can't trust a nerd. Hey, you said there was expensive stuff in this lab. What kind of stuff? Computers and junk like that. Any games? Sure. Golf, baseball, caves and warriors. Maybe we could boost a couple. You'd never know they were gone. Guys, I don't know. Whose side are you on? Yeah, you think he cares about you? Adults care about adults. Kids care about kids. Coming or not? Afternoon, Henry. And uh, how's every little thing in outer space? Expanding, Professor Stillman, expanding. How about you? How's your latest crop of all night convenience store managers coming along? <laughs> there, there. I train the economic minds of the future. As the saying goes, nothing happens in this world till somebody sells something. Oh, oh, so we rose out of the primordial ooze, struggled to stand upright at the old divide gorge, discovered fire, invented mathematics, all so that we might someday say, you want lids on these? Henry, I guarantee you, the first thing man did after inventing the wheel was mark up the price. But, hey, I don't intend to stand here and swap professional slurs with you. Okie doke, you keep your slurs, I'll keep mine. But I would like to give you a little helpful piece of information. If you were planning on seeing Ellen or even talking to her this weekend, I don't think she'll be available. Why is that? Well, she had a really rough week. Uh, she needs to get away. So I told her about my cabin up on the lake, and she said, this sounds perfect, idiot. It's quiet, secluded, romantic. Your cabin? It's a modest little piece of equity. I'll probably roll it over if prime rises. Wait a minute, Stillman. You're saying that Ellen is going to your cabin for the weekend and you're going to be there? Absolutely, old man. She really shouldn't be alone at a time like this. It's getting worse. Ellen is going to the lake with another man. More bad data. How is that worse? He's an opponent. Like like chess. Understood. Okay. Then how would you play this? Only bold moves will capture the queen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Meaning? Crush him like a bug. Bold moves indeed. Gentlemen, we may have found a solution to our problems, both personal and scientific. We know she can float. Let's see if this puppy can fly. Hello. Congratulations. You are now officially Excuse me? I just programmed your number on my car phone. All I do is press one, and I'm on your line. Donald, you're picking me up in a few minutes. Couldn't this have waited? I'm probably going to be one or two minutes late. You, you called because of a minute or two? I just caught a red light on Monroe. I just wanted you to know that I'm not going to be like your absent-minded professor. 
All right, Albert. We're just about set. Anything else I need to know? Preliminary findings on flubber indicate moisture will interact with the molecular profile in a negative manner. Meaning? Don't get it wet. Don't get it wet. Newton? What are you thinking, boy? Yeah, all right. If you want to, you can go for the ride. But you gotta buckle up. All right. Here we go. Copernicus. Galileo, Einstein, Stephen Hawking, you wild man. This one's for you. Lift, check. Stabilizer, check. The blue thing seems to be working. And now, Newton, we're flying. Nothing to it. Nice night, huh, Newton? Let's try this. Okay, we don't try that anymore. There's the college clock tower. Yes, and there is Donald's sickening condominium. And there is Donald's sickening car. You might want to close your eyes, Newton. This isn't going to be pretty. accomplished? Mission accomplished. Wow. This place looks like the mother hive and alien. Okay, the discs are over here. Forget that, man. Yeah, we're taking the hardware. Wait a minute, guys. That's not the deal. It is now. Come on, you're the lab assistant. Let's clean up. to the upright and locked position. Come on, Newton. Let's go tell Albert. Hey, Albert, you want... Albert! Albert! Oh, no. Well, this lock has not been tampered with, so whoever broke in had a key. And the only person that has a key other than you and me is... Gus. Just can't believe that Gus is involved. 
What do I do? Right now, Albert could be part of a jukebox in Guatemala. Isn't this a little out of your league, kid? Wait till you see what this stuff can do. Hello, Henry. See, I told you it could talk. Yeah, but my name is Art. I'll give you 1,500 tops. I've got to get more. Listen, kid. Computers go out of date every hour on the hour. They're a little tough to unload. You follow me? Give us a break here. This is one-of-a-kind stuff. That's the offer, kid. Take it or leave it. Where would I go if I had a bunch of stolen computer equipment? Oh, who knows? My first husband was a burglar, but I never really understood him. Guess all we can do is hope he comes back. Uh, are you going to leave this thing on? Gus, you sly spy. I told you it's a fragile market. I got overhead. So do we. Hi. Gus? Gee, nice place. Sorry I'm late. I'm sure it's an oversight that you didn't invite me, since I am the guy who owns all the stuff. Who is this creep? The nut bar we ripped off. Yeah, I'm the nut bar, all right. Tell you what, I'll give you $2,000, and we'll call it all a bad dream, huh? You know, theft is a legitimate tax write-off. Lose him. Hey, guys, let's be ladies now, huh? I don't want to have to get physical with you guys. <laughs> Professor, look out! But I... So like I was saying, 1700 You know, I don't think you guys gave my offer the serious consideration that it deserves. Will somebody please get rid of this guy? Come on, let's go. Yo! Okay, pal. The party's over. Now get your hands up. You know, I, I think you should put that gun down. Well, I'm a little tired of your thinking. Look behind you. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep moving. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What are we going to do? Don't blame you if you... Well, if you don't want to see me again. Tuesday. What? I need to hear Tuesday. You're going to be putting in overtime. Unless your mom is going to ground you till you're old enough to shave. Really? You mean it? Gus, life's an experiment, right? Sometimes it blows up in our face, so we just we clean up the mess and we start over. Huh? Professor! Pay the cab. Um... Uh... Mr. Elephant. All the fun. Whatever. Listen, I hope this isn't going to take long. My girl is going to call us. I looked in your desk, Professor. You have invented something which counteracts the force of gravity. Together, we can be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Mr. Oliphant, science is not for sale. At least not for me, it isn't. You can keep the little ball. I can? Sure. Uh, word of caution, though. You got a bar in that limo? Yes. You see, this substance will lose its anti-gravity property unless it is doused liberally in soda water. Got it.
Me over here to see Albert again, it's no use. His arguments are always perfect. He never gives a wrong answer, never disagrees, because you control everything he does. And that's why you think I like to spend so much time with him. I figured that out all by myself. Didn't need the computer. Ellen, I deal in absolutes, and that's fine for machines, but people make mistakes. I guess I've been afraid of losing control. Henry, that's what love is. Losing control. You willing to take a chance on me? This is it? A ride in your Model T? This is taking a chance? It is the way I drive. Come on. We'll get some dinner. You know, they say dinner is the most important meal of the day. Newton, you are definitely man's best friend, and now I know why. You'll put up with anything, just like Albert. Unquestioning loyalty. Never do anything to rock the boat. Uh, the car is floating. Uh-huh. The car is floating. And now... we're gonna go flying. Henry, this is impossible. It's not impossible, Ella. But you gotta believe. I do believe, Henry. Oh, I do believe. <laughs> 